We're launching two new 60 volt chainsaws. We have an 18 inch and a 20 inch. Uh, we're going to be using our flex volt batteries. So we actually have the new 15 amp hour flex volts, which is the biggest batteries that we have. And that's going to help power this chainsaw. Now, something that's really cool is that we're actually seeing that this saw has almost twice as much torque as a 50cc gas chainsaw. So when we show you this demo, you're going to actually see the performance, the cutting ability, the speed and the power. So you can see from that, this is actually one of the most powerful DeWalt tools we've ever made in any category, not just outdoor. Next product I want to show you, and this is the new one, is our 20 volt pruner. So this will come with a two amp hour battery, which is very familiar to people in the, you know, our drill categories. But this is really all about uh, replacing sort of the two handed lopper, right? You know, that takes, you know, a lot of energy. You don't want to make a lot of cuts, but this will actually do 1100 cuts on a two amp hour battery. And here we'll have Koal do a quick demo for you. You can kind of see the power, even on wooden dowels, not even something that's green, something that's wood dowel like this, takes almost no effort whatsoever, right? Just a press of a button and you can really do it quick. The jaws will actually open and close in one second. So in some cases we've seen much slower closing and opening from some of our competition. This is quick so you can actually keep moving on the fly with your task. And this is a new pressure washer for us. So this is an electric pressure washer. It's 2100 PSI and 1.2 GPM. The entire concept of this pressure washer is to really make things as compact and easy to store as possible. So what you'll see is we actually have a place you can stick your uh, hose here on top. It just kind of nests underneath here. You have your soap tank on the bottom. You have placement for your uh, cord and it winds around. And then you do have included wheels. So on top of being compact, it is still portable. You have the wheels on the bottom and you have a uh, telescoping handle so you can drag it out. We've actually built in an extra storage here for our gun. So it's a three piece gun. Each place has a little home so you can pull it out and then the nozzles will store on the handle. So this is the new Conquer. This thing will be coming out in a year or so. Um, it's a hillside mower. So it's got dual tracks on each side and um, it is remote control. You can go up and down very steep hills and slopes without putting an employee in danger. We've tested it on, let's say, hills that you can't hardly walk up. The footprint that it has and the weight, the way it's concentrated, and the tracks are excellent on traction. So it's a 61 inch deck. It's got the 40 horsepower Vanguard motor on it. You can raise and lower the deck with the remote. And as you can see other options that you can put on it, snow blade, hydraulic lift on there. But this thing will pretty much cut down anything it'll push over. And that's what the bar is for in the front. It's a rear discharge deck, so all the grass shoots out the back. Oh, these are these are gonna be used for like hillsides along interstates, you know, where you can't cut it with a regular mower. And like I said, you don't want to compromise the safety of your employees. So this thing will go up the hill. You can sit in your truck and, and run it in the air conditioning. Neil Manis with EZG Manufacturing here today. This is our HRC 50 hog crusher. Um, this is designed to hook up to your skid steer loader and it's designed to crush brick, um, block pavers, asphalt, concrete. It actually is a machine that'll take it to two inch minus material. So you can recycle your material on the job site so you reduce waste, and you reduce cost taking things to the landfill and you can repurpose that material for other things. Usually it's a low flow, so you're gonna need about that 16 gallon per minute and under, so it doesn't need to be high flows. It has re replaceable carbide teeth, so you can, if they wear out, you can replace them. And again, this will do about three cubic yards in about five minutes. Thanks so much, my name is Billy Ottoman. I'm with Scythe Robotics here at GIE and Expo. We are showing off M52, 
our fully autonomous, all electric, robotic mower. It's a 52 inch deck rear discharge. Being fully autonomous, it has eight HDR cameras around the outside. You drive the perimeter of a property once when you get there, then switch it to autonomous mode and it just starts laying stripes. Through the cameras, which are its primary sensing perception, it uses that to see and respond to different obstacles that it, it encounters. So it knows the difference between a tree, a human, and other obstacles. It'll go around a tree or a pole to keep the job moving, but if a human comes within the safety zone, it stops right away. Uh, it turns the blades off, until then the human walks out. It starts the job right back up again, so your crewman doesn't have to come back over and get it going. The idea is this machine can take care of the mowing while the crew is doing other higher value work. What we're able to do is create, uh, create a solution that helps landscapers multiply what they can do with the crews that they have. It's all electric, so it's really quiet. It's 20 decibels quieter than a gas-powered mower, which is significantly quieter. Uh, makes for a better mowing experience. You can mow at other times as well, earlier in the morning or later at night. So our primary focus is commercial applications with this unit. This is our first product. From here, we'll be going up and down. Uh, we can see some residential applications further down the road. Uh, right now, we're primarily focused on larger campuses, parks, HOAs with many different residential uh, properties, those types of things. You can see the cameras here on top. Our LED lights are a status indicator. Right now it's set to party mode for GIE. Green means go. When it's driving, it strobes. That's primarily a safety precaution because we want people to see it. Again, since it's electric, it's pretty quiet, so it might go unnoticed. Uh, orange is uh, software updates and things along those lines are always moving. It's a tri-blade deck, 15 horsepower on the deck, each three blades there spinning. 20 horsepower drive on the 20 by 12 wheels on the back. It can be manually operated. It's a, it's a self-driving mower, but it's not a driverless mower. So you can still use this to mow the perimeter, do any other clean up jobs, or maybe do, uh, do things where your crew would be more comfortable doing it themselves rather than having it drive in autonomous mode. Hey guys, I'm John Steves with Square Burrow here at the GIE. Our new product called the Square Burrow was designed for a simple reason. This right here allows you to lay it over on its side so you can easily rake or sweep material in. The other unique feature we have is our bottom here. It's a snap-on rope guard. So when you're dragging to places and the bottom wears out, this thing you can snap off so when it wears out, completely replaceable, rotatable. We'll come out with wheel versions for it in the future. So when it wears out, you can cleave to that roll panels for easy dragging. The other thing we have found is the shape. If you have three barrels or more, you create a nice even seam. You can see here on the picture, you can actually dump a full yard of material in three of these, keep them contained. We've got waterproof covers coming out. People ask us all the time what they're used for. I'm a landscaper, used for landscaping. People find different uses for it. It's really a tool that you can use for whatever job you're doing. 2,000 pound like weight tested. Easy to pick up with the rope handles. Doesn't need any more than just a simple knot to keep it together. But again, the reason why we like the rope handles is just to every user. My name is Dustin Hill. I am <laughs> I am with Roto Shovel. Uh, it is the first and the only electric shovel and auger combination. This unit right here is the original. So this one will actually dig three inches wide by about 10 inches deep. It has two speeds, forward and reverse. So the left is on reverse. Right is on forward. Has a 12 volt battery, easily replaceable. Takes about two hours to charge and it runs for about two hours as well. Behind me we have the Roto Shovel Max. This one will run on a 36 volt battery. It will dig about four inches wide by about 18 inches deep. The handlebars will be a little bit closer. This is just the prototype model. It has forward reverse as well. The beauty about both of these units is neither one of them will have any torque. 
So they both have an auto stop feature that if it hits a rock, a root, anything it can't go through, it'll just automatically stop. So there won't be any twisting of your wrist, twisting of the unit, none of that kind of stuff. This one will run for about four hours, but it does take about four hours to charge on a 36 volt. This one's gonna be mostly used for post holes, uh, fence posts, things of that nature, larger trees, bushes. This one's gonna be used for your annuals, perennials, bulbs, smaller bushes, things of that nature. Both of them, the patented design is gonna be this back shovel piece that you see. So you're really only gonna be digging with this bottom inch portion right here. Let me clean it off. This bottom inch right here that you can see. So that's why it makes it so easy to dig through clay, mulch, soil, any kind of ground that you really have. And if it does hit anything it can't go through, it just shuts the motor off so that way it doesn't overheat. So right now, the two lengths that we have is gonna be this one, which is gonna be the three and then the set by seven. And then we also have this one's gonna be the four by 18. They're not interchangeable right now. Obviously, as we grow and continue to grow throughout Roto Shovel, we're gonna keep expanding our product line and expanding our blades. A lot of people are actually clearing ground with the unit as well and like digging trenches. So there's a lot of different things that people are doing and unique uh, ways that they're using the units. That's just not digging holes. So you can go around bushes, you can clear out debris, you can clear a lot of, you can do a lot of things that we can't show you in this little, in this box that are online. Wilson with Aquascape based out of St. Charles, Illinois. The product we're featuring right here is a stack slate sphere that's incorporated with a fire pan that puts out 60,000 BTU. Has an auto igniter out there that you can control up or down. Tether feed to the gas line or natural gas line. It sits on top of a basin that takes two people less than 45 minutes to put it into the ground. Installed, you're looking at nine, ten thousand dollars with a profit of 50% over there, but it's a brand new product with us. We also have a family of stack slate urns that are roughly just about five feet tall that has the same pan on top of it. You're gonna put hot rocks up in there, the fire glass in there. Now you're adding the zen feeling of fire and water together into the backyard. And even better, if you are a landscaper, you're looking to add a service to your arsenal that already out there, even to your existing customers. We have an academy that teaches you how to install, how to sell, how to market water features. We got seven dates available starting in late 2021, going into 2022. But it's awesome that you can go back to your existing customers with everybody needs water in the backyard, they just don't know it yet. And you can go at any size, at any pace you want, but we guarantee you 50 to 60% profit after a three to four hour install with something like this. So it's, it's money in the bank for your existing customers. Come learn how to do it. Good morning, Brad. The company's called Zapt. We've been in business for 15 years, doing stuff in the oil and gas business, and we decided to pivot into autonomous lawn mowing. We decided to go to the top end of the business with a commercial lawn mower. This is a fully autonomous lawn mower. It's got some fun tricks it does. It transitions between a 60 inch deck mower to a 32 inch deck mower. So if you want to take this mower through a narrow gate, it will transition and go through that gate. When we say fully autonomous, we mean fully autonomous. So if you want to work under trees, alongside fences, or in areas where GPS fails, we've got a very reliable, redundant sensor suite on board. We have LiDAR, we have cameras, we have ultrasonics, we have resolvers in each of the wheels. So this thing, we set up a path that it's gonna mow on your property or on your HOA, wherever it's gonna mow, load that path into the mower, set go, and it will then go mow that path. We have all the fancy buzzwords. We've got AI and machine learning enabled in this thing. So if our stereo cameras see a person, a dog, a cat, or something else, it will know to stop. If it sees something that it doesn't quite know what it is, it will stop and it will send us an image of what it's seen from these cameras. On board, we've got a dual radio 4SIM cell modem. So if you're working, let's say, in an AT&T area and the towers aren't that good, it will switch over to Verizon, etc., etc. So we have redundancy and reliability built in at every level because the fundamental focus is safety, safety, safety. We've got an LOI from one of the folks on the top 100 at Lawn and Landscape for 50 units. They're for delivery first half next year. This is one of the next five that we're building to put with these customers to allow them to take them to the field and let their crews get used to them. We don't know everything. We're still learning this business, but the only way we're gonna learn it is to give it to people to break. They can give us however polite or impolite feedback they wanna give us because we'll then understand what it is we need to do differently. If you've got 
40, 50, 60, 400 acres. It's a product for you. It's not really a residential product. And if anybody needs any information, ping us with a request through the website. My email address is kv at zapdlc.com. Email us and ask us questions. Hey there, I'm Mike Bertelson, the president and owner of Cowboy Cauldron Company, maker of the world's finest fire pit and grill. We're at the Expo as a new vendor to show off our products. The Cowboy Cauldron is unique in that it has many, many uses. For starters, clearly, it's a grill. It's also an extraordinarily functional fire pit that can be raised and lowered to any height, depending on your season and your patio furniture or where you might find yourself, whether it's in your backyard or at the beach or at a ski hill or wherever. Also, can be used as a cooking vessel. By putting a fire or a burner underneath it, you can actually cook inside of the cauldron, which we have huge adoption from chefs and party throwers of all sorts. Cauldrons are made of solid plate steel, so they're lightweight, they're extremely robust, they're extraordinarily weather resistant, which is key, and they're gonna last for generations. You don't need to worry about taking care of your cauldron. In, in almost any instance, Unless there's an absolute ban on any sort of open flame, these things are not open fire because they're suspended from the ground, they're contained and they have a grill. These are cooking devices and not fire devices. And I've had many a conversation with many a fire marshal around the country. They love these things because they are safe. This is the Dude, our smallest unit. It's a new market entry has segmented legs for portability, a 35 pound basin, scaled for ease of use and transportation. This is the Urban Cowboy. This is the one that's scaled for patio use. This is the one that goes next to the house in most instances. Tremendously versatile, 30 inch basin. Um, can hold a huge fire if you want to go there, and believe me, people do. This is our mid-sized unit, the Wrangler, which is the one that is most often used on large lots or in commercial uses, especially chefs loves this thing because it gives them the visual presence. The grills are double hinged and truss reinforced. They're, they've been through eight design iterations. This is the perfect grill for people who actually know how to grill. Inside every cauldron is a charcoal grate. For burning fire and for cooking with wood, those pieces come out, the fire goes right in the bottom of the basin. This is the Ranch Boss. It's our flagship unit that launched the brand. It's uh, 42 inches in diameter, weighs 220 pounds. It's incredibly versatile. You can do layered fires. You can cook, as we'd mentioned, underneath it by, by putting a uh, heat underneath it and using it as an enormous soup pot. They're built for generations of use. They will certainly outlast their original owner, their second owner, and probably their third and fourth <laughs> owners as well. 